Hello, fellow humans, and welcome back to Shitcoin Fundamentals, a channel on YouTube in which we dig through the steaming pile of shitcoins to find the gold nuggets within. And today, because the markets are down, everybody's panicking, and there's a ton of FUD around, we will talk about how you can short any cryptocurrency using margin trading. One of the issues, one of the reasons why I talk about this is especially the Jasmine project, Jasmine coin. There was a scheduled, already for months, scheduled release of new tokens. Of course, the tokens, the value of each token went down a bit. So people completely panicked and there was panic sell and a lot of people went short on it. Yeah, and there was a lot of requests uh, for me to make a video on how you can short um, cryptocurrency. But of course, the disclaimer in the beginning, this is not financial advice. Please do your own research. But I will tell you also from the beginning, don't do margin trading and especially not short margin trading if you're not an absolute pro in that field. Don't do it. Not financial advice. Your money, your problem, you have to know what you're doing with that. But I, I just tell you, there's a lot of risks involved in that. And we will later on in the video actually talk about the risks. So stay with me until end of the video. You will, you will learn more about this. Also, if you want to know more about Jasmine and uh, what I think about the project, please check up here. I will link the videos up here as well so you can check them out. So let's go into and let's, let's understand what uh, is a short trading. So in short trading, actually want, you want, uh, what you want to do is you want to bet on a cryptocurrency or whatever asset, stock, oil, gold, whatever, that it goes down. So for example, currently the price of whatever coin is 3,000 US dollars and you bet um, that it goes down to 1,000. You, you think that it should go to 1,000 US dollar and what you want, you want to somehow gain financial, uh, financially from that uh, going down of the cryptocurrency or whatever asset. So how would you do that? There is, of, uh, in some of the crypto exchanges like Binance, for example, there are already derivative tokens available, like, for example, ADA up, ADA down. These are leveraged tokens that bet on um, go long or short so that ADA goes up or ADA goes down. But this is not available for all the tokens. So, for example, for Jasmine, it's not available. That means you have to do that manually. However, I will tell you again, if you don't know what you're doing, don't do margin trading. Just a small advice. Next step. So how can you actually do margin trading with a coin, with a coin that is not available at the derivative token, but using margin trading? So short trading using margin trading. So what you do, margin trading in general means that you lend some money. So for example, any coin is currently worth 3,000 euros. You have 1,000 euros available. So what you go, you, you go to your, to your exchange, Binance, Coinbase, whatever. You put the 1,000 in collateral there and land another uh, 2,000 to buy any coin, for example, Jasmine. But you put the debt in that coin. So the debt is in Jasmine. So you, you uh, had 1,000 Jasmine, for example, and uh, landed another 2,000 Jasmine. The, the debt is in Jasmine. So what you do then is you sell immediately that Jasmine, which you, which you just landed from the, crypto car, from the crypto exchange. But what you also do, because you still have the debt, so you have landed 2,000 US dollar worth of a coin, and you have to, of course, pay that debt back. What you do, you, um, you put a limited buy order, a limit buy order of that coin in for a crazy low price. So for example, in the example we had before, we had 3,000, you bought it and you think it will go to 1,000. So you put a, a buy order in for that 1,000. Um, so this is what you do. So what you have then, you have a, a coin that was worth 3,000. You sold it immediately and put it in some kind of stable coin, Tether, uh, BU, BUSD, whatever it is. And uh, then you put your buy order. In. Now you hope that actually this buy order is hit. This a very, very low buy order is hit. So the coin goes crazy down from 3,000 to 1,000 US dollars and your buy order is executed. And then basically you take that, um, that coin that you just bought, bought for the low price and you pay back your debt that you have made with the crypto exchange. That means you have just gained the difference 
between when you sold the landed coins and when you bought the, 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 the coins at the lower price. So this difference minus some exchange fees, interest that you have to pay on the debt that you had and so on, this is what you put in your pocket basically. So in this example, it's like the, the 2000 US dollars. So when you go from 3000 to 1000, it's basically the 2000 US dollars difference minus fees and interest you put into your pocket. However, still advice, don't do it. <laughs> if you enjoyed the video so far, then please uh, uh, like the video and consider to subscribe to the channel because it really keeps me going and keeps me motivated to make new videos. And then let's go into the risks, the most important part of the video. So what are the risks in leveraged uh, uh, short trading? So the risk, especially when you do short and, and leverage trade, leverage trading in general is very, very dangerous and very risky. So only do it when you really know what you're doing and be very careful not to over leverage yourself. But uh, specifically, in, when you go short, there is an additional level of that risk is because the upside of a short, so the, the, the gain that you can make, is maximum 100%, the value, current value of the coin. So when it goes from 3,000, the maximum it can go down is go to zero. That means the difference of 3,000 is the maximum you can gain doing a short trade, going, going short on, a, on an asset. However, the downside, so what you can lose is basic infinite because the, uh, the coin can go crazy up, can go 10x, 100x, 1000x up, and your debt will then also 10x, 100x, 1000x. So you see immediately you made like 2000 US dollar, um, you made a 2000 US dollar, for example, debt. When the coin 10xs, that's a $20,000, 100x. $200,000, 1,000x, 2 million US dollar debt that you have now occurred and that you have to pay back. So that's a huge problem. So never do short margin trading if you don't know what to really 100% what you're doing and never over leverage yourself that you don't end up with debt until over your head. So again, don't do it. So another question is, of course, if you're not one to go short, but what could be indicators that there's a lot of short sellers in, in the market? A very good indicator for this is, or it's one of the indicators, and there's also other reasons why this could happen, but this is one of the indicators, is if there's a very big bid ask spread. So the big ask spread is basically um, the bids, so people who want to buy versus people who want to sell. We talked before about, when I, when I explained all of this, that if you want to have to pay your debt back that you have put during the margin trade, you have to sell a buy, you have to put a buy order. And usually you put a buy order at a very, very, very low price because of course you want to have the spread, uh, you want to earn as much money as possible. So there's a lot of buy orders at the very low end of the, of the bid ask spread. And usually because uh, um, the coin is going down, people want to secure some of their money and want to, of course, sell also the coins that they just have borrowed. So you want to do this at the, at the far end, so at the higher end to, to increase your profit. And that's why usually in these situations, you have like a very big spread uh, between bid and ask. And additionally, often you have also very much more um, buy orders, limit buy orders, compared to, um, to sell orders, which is usually un, unusually when, when, a, when a coin goes down, you would expect there's a lot of uh, sell orders, a lot of limit sell orders, but very little buy orders. But actually when there's heavy on short, this can look actually completely different that you have a lot of green. You see a lot of green when you go into the bid ask uh, tabula, um, but the coin is still going down. This is usually, this happened, for example, over the last days for the Jasmine project, you could see this very clearly. And this is happening usually when you have a very strong short selling of the coin. It is what it is. Um, it happens sometimes. So if you want to do that, please feel free to do it. I explained, you know, how you could do it. I would still say, don't do it, especially if you're a beginner. Be very careful with leverage trading. I cannot say it often enough. Don't do it. 
I have done leveraged short trading before a couple of times. I was sometimes lucky, sometimes not. I have decided for myself, I will not do it anymore. I better search out a project that I really believe in, that I have checked the technology, the team, the market they're addressing, and I'm really convinced about this, and I put my money on, on such a project. Some of the projects you can see in my playlist and the gold nuggets, there I explain some of the, of the investments that I have made and that I think that will go up over the long term. That doesn't mean that they will not go down over the short term, like for example, just me just did. I'm still believing in the project. You can decide what you do. If you want to go short on a project, do it. Now you know how. If you want to know more about interesting projects to invest in long term and uh, to go uh, have a really strong long position, then follow this channel, like the video. If you have any questions, if you have want to discuss with me about this topic, please drop it down in the comments below. I'm happy to discuss with you there. Until then, see you next time. Bye.